The Australian sea lion is Australia's least abundant seal species. Along the remote Nullarbor coast, it is literally clinging on for survival. At the base of the Bunda Cliffs, which stretch over 170 kilometres west from the head of the bight, Australian sea lions live out a harsh existence on narrow strips of rock platform and rubble formed at the base of slowly eroding cliffs. This fragile world is where the sea lions haul out to rest, breed and raise their young after foraging for days on end in the unforgiving waters of the Great Australian Bight. What we're dealing with is animals that are hauling out in non-permanent rock platforms at the base of 100 metre cliffs and some of these areas are, are really hard to access visually. Basically inaccessible to anything but a, you know, a serious commercial vessel. 300 kilometres from the nearest port and there's no safe spot to put a boat in for, for hundreds of kilometres. So it's really raw, it's really isolated, but it's, it's a beautiful spot at the same time. These cliffs are so temporary. There's constant landslides, there's constant rock falls, and it just takes one mistake. It's immeasurable how much safer it is being able to actually get this machine off the cliff and out and looking back into the colonies. But also in terms of what we're capturing with the data, early estimates are between 200 and 500% more animals in some colonies, just because we're able to see all of the colony from multiple angles and then we've also got reviewable data that we can go over at a really fine scale. Um, we can count and classify the animals so we're getting a, a much better handle on what's happening in these colonies than we have previously. And we've got between 20 and 30 colonies uh, that actually have large numbers of pups in them. We spend probably 20 or 30 minutes with a, a drone mapping each colony. A photo every five seconds, it'll measure height and depth contours, so we'll build a 3D model of the colony and then we'll drape the photo imagery over top of that. Real um, accurate data, how, um, how many pups each colony is producing each season. All it takes is for a, you know, a rock fall on, or a, a bit of an erosion on on one side where they access the colony and you know that colony is no longer usable so we can measure the, the carrying capacity of the colonies, um, we can measure how they change over time, the numbers and the different classifications of pups by age, we can tell at what part of the breeding season we're at um, and so that changes over the, the multiple surveys that we do over the breeding season. Now we can fly this colony from the safety of the cliff with the drone and we can look right into the cave, whereas, yeah, whereas it previously been unseen apart from in a helicopter.